Can you tow charge a Tesla Model 3? Today we're gonna find out. Hey guys, it is wet and dreary out, and yet I've got the sunglasses on because the sun never goes down on the cool. Anyway, we're gonna tow charge the Tesla Model 3, see if it actually gains a charge by towing it in regen, and um, I've got the camera set up here, and uh, got the uh, the GoPro set up to to train in on the uh, the upper left hand corner of the screen so that we can see the um, see the regen bar there. And um, so this is the rig that I use for a lot of my uh, my filming of the screen, and uh, it attaches to the roof of the car. Waiting for my son-in-law Ben to show up and uh, help me with the video. So watch a little bit of Rich Rebuilds on my tablet here. <laughs> Fun stuff. All right, so we're going to tow charge the Model 3 or give it a try anyway. The, the first thing you need to do is hook up the tow hook, which is inside the frunk here. Underneath the, the carpet, you've got your little your tow hook here. And that gets screwed in behind this little cover. The upper right hand corner of this circle you push in to release it and uh, usually they stick so what you have to do you got to be careful of the paint but you have to kind of pop the other corner out but once you open that little cover this threads in now this tow hook is reverse thread so you actually turn it counterclockwise to get it to thread in all right so that's that and uh, have my strap here. So we'll close the front and we are using the wonderful little smart car. Seems very fitting as a tow vehicle. So we'll go ahead and hook it up. All right, so um, we'll be able to keep an eye on uh, the regen power going in and also watt hours per mile, it should go into the negative here and show us how much energy we're putting in the pack there on the screen. So I'm going to go ahead and call my, um, my son-in-law, Ben. There we go. Hello. All right. So, yeah, yeah. All right. So um, let's see here. I am in drive but stopped. And um, so go ahead and ease forward real gently to get the slack taken up. Okay, you can go ahead and just ease forward gently. This isn't a drag race. Okay, that's about a good acceleration rate. Get up to maybe uh, maybe 15 or 20 or so. All right, we have some regen showing up there on the on the screen. So just a little bit of regen. So, oh, it broke. <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. We know it works. We know it works. All right. Hang on a second here. All right, so we're going to start easing forward, and um, what we're watching for here is the um, we're watching the the regen on the on the screen here. So my car is sensing uh, the tow car in front of us, so it's going to give us the occasional alert that we're close to another car. So, but. Uh, so what I'm hoping for is to see some regen, and there it is showing up. So we've got a little bit of regen going, and I also want to see if we're going to get any watt hours per mile gain. So this is creepy because I've got my foot over, covering over the brake pedal just in case I have to stop. There we go, negative 703 watt hours per mile, so we're actually gaining some range. So ease over to the left side of the lane a little bit there, Ben. So this is really cool. It's actually showing me on the energy gauge 
that I've uh, I'm I have gained 1,000 watt hours per mile of like energy into the battery. Kind of I don't know what that translates into in battery storage capacity, but uh, so very cool. This is working really well. You definitely can tow charge a Tesla Model 3. So very cool. I guess we're gonna have to turn around. Uh, somehow I'll get out and disconnect the car and we can swing around Well, that was interesting as you can see here. We went three tenths of a mile and gained um, Whatever that would mean it says we have negative 1039 watt hours per mile one other interesting thing is that uh, You'll notice that we have 199 miles of range when we started this test. It said 198 miles of range so we actually did gain range and um, yeah very very cool I am absolutely psyched so all right so I drove back to the point that we started this tow test and you'll notice I currently show negative 279 watt hours per mile and uh, this is interesting so it looks like the regen is stronger at least in a 20 mile an hour uh, we towed it at 15 to 18 miles an hour, and then I drove back at roughly 20 miles an hour. We gained more energy in towing the car than we used driving it back to this location. So interesting, if you tow the Model 3 more than a mile, uh, excuse me, if you tow the Model 3 a mile uh, with regen, you will gain more than a mile in driving range. So... Nice piece of information for you there that I thought was kind of interesting. Again, I think we're going to revisit this video uh, or this test in a future video when the weather's nice and we can find a, a truly secluded area. And um, this is pretty fascinating, pretty fascinating. I'm going to dig deeper into this in the future. Well, that was great. Uh, being that it was raining, we didn't want. We were going to do this test repeatedly over and over and try and get a baseline of how much range. You know, if you tow the car a quarter of a mile, do you get one full mile of range? If you tow the car a half a mile, do you get? I mean, you know, trying to. We were going to do this to try and gain some additional data beyond just can you tow charge a Model Three. So I believe I'm going to be revisiting this on a day that's not raining, but. For now, the answer is yes, you can tow charge a Tesla Model 3 without a problem. So, very cool. I am super excited. So, for those of you that uh, haven't yet subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. I've got some, some odd ideas for videos coming up, and it should be a lot of fun. I've got a great Tesla project video. Mmm, a build project. You guys are going to be interested in seeing that. For those of you that are looking to buy a new Tesla and you'd like help on supercharging, go ahead and use my referral. I'll put the link in the description below. I've already gotten three referrals. Every referral I get really helps the channel. So anyway, thanks for tuning in, guys. Keep your eye out for some more videos coming up very soon. Probably about every two or three days I'll have a new video up on the channel. Take it easy now.